Well, who among us wants to be held responsible for a mistake we made back in our college days? That's exactly what happened to a family in Kenosha when UW-Madison wanted to collect on a long forgotten debt. The I-Team Steve Shamrez has their story. Guys, forget about the dream where you walk in late to a final exam. This is a real life nightmare that resulted in a suspended car registration and canceled license plates. All because UW-Madison wanted its money. When the University of Wisconsin class of 2014 jumped around on graduation day, they left campus with memories to last a lifetime. But Kyle Peterson drove away from Madison with something he apparently forgot. I'm sure that that piece of paper ended up in a pile that got tossed and forgot about. Ellen Peterson is Kyle's mom, and over the summer, she got a letter from UW Transportation Services. They too had forgotten about what happened to Kyle. He got a parking ticket he never paid. More than three years later, the UW's memory was jogged by an audit of unpaid tickets. Since the car was registered to Kyle's mom and dad, they were on the hook, but they were not convinced. We kind of sat on it because we really weren't sure what exactly was happening with it. I mean, we didn't even really know at the time it was legit. Sitting on it was the wrong call because UW's parking police really wanted their money. Within a month, the Petersons got this letter. Their vehicle registration was suspended. Their license plate canceled. All because UW-Madison wanted their $65. Ellen Peterson could not believe it. And that's when I got a little sassy and said, it took you three years to send us a ticket and I get one month to respond. The I-Team asked UW Parking Services what prompted such fast action on a long forgotten parking ticket. In a statement, it said the aggressive action was the result of a new matching process started this past summer. As for the three-year gap, for some cases, the matching process is manual, which can add to the time delay. You can't come to me three years later and then back me against a wall and say, you pay it or else. But that's exactly what happened. Faced with the prospect of driving illegally, Ellen Peterson paid the old ticket, though she faults the UW for not sending her a letter until four months ago. That's our point. It, it, even if they'd have sent it to us in August of 2014 and said it wasn't paid and had a late fee, I would have paid the late fee because that was legitimate. As for her son, Kyle is proud to know his mom tried to fight the system like a badger. Oh, he's apologetic, but when I told him what was going on with it, he said, go mom. <laughs> After some arguing, the UW did waive that $10 late fee, though Ellen Peterson did have to pay a $15 penalty that comes with reversing a suspended registration. Wow. Wow, was right. $65. Thanks, Steve.